Last time I showed you the Flame device, which is our reference device for developers and people who want to get to know what the mid-tier device on Firefox OS would look like. Once you have your Flame set up, it comes like this. By the time the video is out, there might be a new one, so keep up to date. It's really easy to upgrade your operating system. To turn this phone into a proper developer phone, you go into the settings and you go into the internet settings of the phone itself. Device information. Once you're there, you click on more information and then you turn on the developer menu. When you now go back to the main settings, you will get a developer menu that would be confusing for normal end users, but is a real, real interesting point for you as a developer. You have, for example, the layer borders, you have tile borders, a hardware composer, the tiling, the overscrolling. Everything that happens in the interface itself to the video card, to the memory, can now be inspected by you. And that is much, much better than trying to do it over USB and seeing it in the ADB log, but you can do that as well if you wanted to. A very interesting new section that we have in Firefox OS now is the Developer HUD. Once you turn that on here and you see it, it overlays information onto the screen for you. You show the System HUD and out of a sudden you see how much memory is being used by the system right now and how much memory is being used by the app that you're currently debugging. As everything in Firefox OS is an application, including the settings screen, you can actually debug that settings screen while you're using it. You can also turn on the frames per second, which shows you up there how many frames per second are being used, the time to load, how long it took to actually load the application that you have right now, reflows, yank, and all these different settings that you need as a developer. You see the memory consumption of the app itself and you can cut it down to like how many JS objects, JS strings, and so on have been set for you. That allows you on the device to see how your app is doing. And for app developers, that has been always a pain. So we set up this HUD for you, turn it on, test your applications, tweak it until it's fast, and then bring it to the marketplace. And other Firefox OS users out there will be happy.